in the depression. Wait a minute. This is no normal depression. This is prolonged depression. When I stare into it, I feel like it could be sucked in. It's like you're connected to some other dimension. Or maybe it's like a hole that once you enter, you can never leave. Will you go in? Oh yeah, for sure. No, fuck. I didn't save. I didn't fucking save. I'm an idiot. I'm a huge fucking idiot. Oh my god. But wait, was there even a save? What is going on? Is that how I came out of all the holes? <laughs> Can I get a what the hell? Nope. Can I go back? Uh, okay. I was gonna make a joke, but I guess not. What the fuck? I didn't, I literally didn't explore anything. I tried to go back through the hole, and this whole scene erupts. What is happening? Oh my god, I just tried to go back through the hole. <laughs> and the whole fucking game kicked off. So... This makes a lot of sense, eh? Whoa! I can't hold anymore. What the fuck is this? Oh. What, what is she doing? Warping to her. Spears are stuck in. Some kind of power is at work. I can't pull out the spears. Okay, am I literally having five seconds to figure literally everything out? Stop flashing to her. I can't. I can't play the game. I don't understand how you're supposed to play the game. She takes a step every five seconds. Or two seconds, really. Oh, he shot me. Some power is that way. Who designed this part of the game? What? Who? Who designed this part of the game? Okay, you give the big guy the umbilical cord? And now I can pull a spear out? Oh, hold on, what does it say? 
Spear with Holy Mother carved into it. Crimson Tome says that I have to stick eight of these spears into Walter's body. Okay. I can't use that here. I sure shit. I hope I'm not supposed to be, like, saving her. Oh, I actually missed. Can I take one more or no? I don't get why I'm injuring this thing, but then I have to go fight him anyway. Not all of them. I'm missing one. Or two. up to me. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> the doll? Do I fucking use the doll here? I don't know, you probably don't use the doll for anything. Are you dead? Are you dead, you asshole? Let's just stomp on him, make sure. What is this? <laughs> what is anything, man? fighting what is going on
Oh man, what a weird dream. Oh. <laughs> okay. And now the news. Yesterday in Asheville and the woods near Silent Hill, the bodies of five men and women were discovered. <laughs> the police reported that all the murders appeared to be the work of the same perpetrator. They are continuing their investigation. Four of the victims were found dead at the scene, and the fifth victim, a Miss Eileen Galvin, was transported to St. Jerome's Hospital, where she died a short time later. Uh, Police shit. say that Miss Galvin's injuries matched exactly those of the other victims. Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Fucking did it. And you know what? That's exactly what I expected. Just... Just wrapped it right up there at the end, eh? <sighs> Stream program? Oh my. Well, there you go. Oh, this music is actually really good. I want to know who fucking voiced Henry. Like, Jesus Christ. First impressions, final thoughts. Or, er, impressions and final thoughts after completing the game for the first time. Um, this was on hard difficulty, but it didn't really matter. I don't know how much it mattered, I, I, I should say. Because you just have to run away. So maybe I was taking more damage, but you could run away from a lot fairly easily and a little bit of luck. What else? Voice recordings. Okay. Oh, it doesn't credit him? Okay, so to, to get out what what I like, like these this music is really good, but it only comes in very briefly. Um, I like the horror, you know, and I kept saying that I like the horror. It's very, I don't know, kind of remind me of Saw a little bit, remind me of Hellraiser. And just that aspect of it, the supernatural aspect of it, I'm not really down for. It's very strange. And then the story was like progressing and it got very um, exposition heavy at the end. And then how Eileen was connected to everything. I don't know, man. Like, I cannot tell you anymore. My theory is that Walter Sullivan was a boy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain any of the supernatural shit, right? He was a boy who was brainwashed by fucking the wish, wonder wish. Oh, there's multiple endings. <gasps> I didn't even find. I'm missing one memento, moment, me memo item. 51 and 52 that that really sucks playtime nine hours and 40 minutes dude this felt like a fucking eternity what the hell rank is that there's no times knocked on a window counter oh my god you guys suck um i got derailed there Eileen's death. Oh my god. How did I not, like... 
Are you are you seriously supposed to fucking beat Walter before she gets grinded up? Because that is absolutely impossible. Um, I feel like you got pretty annoying in the second half because you couldn't heal in your room and they didn't like. The healing items were okay. I think I just got a little unlucky. So it was just a little more annoying because you're carting Eileen around. And yes, she has a weapon, but she hobbles and she's injured. And it's just like a lot of the time you don't know what you're doing. You have no idea what you're supposed to be doing. And you just happen to find another item or a different way of doing things. The elevators didn't do anything. There's no elevators in the apartment. They were there for nothing. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. I like the horror aspect. The story was like way out of town for me. Oh yeah. Just give me some of that red screen. Like this is what I can't stand. It's like okay now play it again but differently. You're like how? <laughs> How am I supposed to get a different ending? I don't know what to do differently. It's not like the, it's an open world game or it's not like it's an open ended game. It's v very linear. I had the doll the entire time. I don't know why. Um, what else is there to say? The cutscenes dragged on. And it's like, maybe it was supposed to have attention to it, but it was mind-numbingly slow. Henry, oh, God bless his soul, man. He's so boring. He is so boring. It, I couldn't identify with him at all. It wasn't like a blank character that you can kind of put yourself in. He was just nothing. He was the absence of nothing. Like, it just... I don't know how to explain it. Like, I did not get anything from this guy. At all. And he's not charismatic. But he's supposed to save Eileen. So supposedly there's 21 victims, right? Or th there's supposed to be 21 victims. One of them is supposed to be Henry, right? So there's 20 victims. But... It's like there was five men and women at the graveyard and one of them was Eileen you're like what the fuck what no was there two Walter Sullivan's like two killers I don't know is there possession in the game I don't know I don't know how any of it works so if there's a huge emotional component to this story, I don't know. It, it hasn't hit me because you're lost in the confusion. There's no aha moment like, Oh, the boy was Walter the entire time. It's like you kind of already, you kind of already knew that. And then they, then they explicitly tell you and it doesn't make it anything better. Why in the end do you have to fight? Comment and here's junk <laughs> on purpose. Probably. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> I wish it was like a, I like the spear idea, and then they should have had another phase where you're running away having to do something. Are you supposed to be able to save Eileen by just getting rid of all your items and then uh, going back or doing all the spears at once? I don't know. Would I recommend this game? Maybe if you wanted to have like a bit of a different horror vibe and put on easy and try to blast through it in like two settings. I mean, it's it's weird. It's different. It's, it's kind of unique. It is the slower pace stuff that you don't really get nowadays. So, I don't know. It's not a hard pass. I, I'm all scattered. This room, this, this room, this room is all scattered me, okay? 
I think if someone were to summarize this game to me before I played it, I would have never played it. I would have said, no, oh, that's really weird and just skipped it. But actually experiencing it... <sighs> I don't know, like... <laughs> I'll definitely remember it, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.